Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into our first Outlaws of Thunder Junction Play booster box. But before we do, let's take a look at the buyer box promo. So we have Magda the Horde Master. So a 2 2 for 1 and a red Dwarf Berserker Legendary. So that is awesome. We'll set that aside and get into it. So the play boosters are the replacement for set and draft boosters. They started those with the uh, Karlov Mana set. And we're continuing here with Thunder Junction. Discover the coolest cards. And this is helpful, draft archetypes. So if you're looking to draft these boxes, that is actually the uh, best way to get value out of this set. So let's get into it. So I think we might have some Japanese packs here. We've got Stingerback Terror for the art card. So pretty cool dragon. So we'll pop those up the top here. Then we've got a Festering Gulch Foil Highway Robbery and Villainous Wealth. Okay. And Insatiable Avarice. Along with Raucous Entertainer. Okay, so we will just skip through the rest of this stuff. Alright, so we're trying to get through an entire box. And it's going to take us a while. This is going to be a longer video. Let's do a bit of a card trick here. And there we go. So we'll... Sit. Oh, what's this? Spinewood's Armadillo. Yeah, I'm just going to keep seeing all this fun artwork can't i and we will be here forever but let's try to speed things up a bit we've got a tumbleweed rising foil good deal terminal agony so that's the breaking news Ooh, and inspiring vantage borderless art and if you put these together there's a whole bunch of other cards makes a nice scene good deal okay on to the next. So yeah, this is the Western set I have been waiting years for. Wizards finally did it. And I think they did it justice for sure. Okay, so skipping that. That's cool. Spirit token. And of course, these full art lands are looking absolutely fantastic. Foil Thunder Salvo. And Fierce Retribution, and a Mythic! Our first Mythic here, Hostile Investigator. We've got Obeka, Splitter of Seconds, and Bovine Intervention. Yeah, they uh, had fun with this set. You can tell lots of uh, lame jokes. The uh, dad jokes, I think, are running amok. But I love it. Okay, so let's see what we get in the next one here. We'll charge a porcupine mount. That's a bit disturbing. And we have a signed planes. Loving the artwork here. Okay. So our second of the art cards. We've got a foil fleeting reflection. Followed by ride down and a mythic world walker helm. I think we got a couple of those out of the pre-release packs. Bruce Tull, Roving Rancher, and the Resilient Roadrunner. Okay, trashed the town. So we are on a quest, Coyote and Roadrunner. We'll see how many we can get in a single play booster box. It's just a fun little thing you can do as you crack the packs. Oh, look at that. The quest is over before it began. Cunning Coyote. All right, so we've got the pair there. We'll see if we can get any more of those. That's fun. Okay, so we have Frontier Seeker. Nice art card riding this weird looking beast. Okay, planes and a foil mythic. Gold vein hydra. What the heck? Clear shot and another mythic. Geralf the flesh right. Pretty sure this is a bulky one. Because we keep pulling it and Brimstone Roundup and Beast Bond Outcast. Okay, on to the next one. So Oko, 
back again with a cast of villains trying a daring heist and uh, we know how that worked out if you've read the law badlands revival that's cool you got the cactus people plant warlocks and so forth liking the flavor of this set and we've got a foil island and a foil mirage mesa back for more and marchesa dealer of death i don't know what queen marchesa is up to cosplaying as a uh, western gunslinger i guess okay let's see what we get in the next one here wrangler of the damned yeah i'm gonna enjoy slowing down and oh dinosaur and uh, really soaking stuff up when we get into the regular patron pack openings. We got a swamp along with a foil conduit pylons, primal command, and stingerback terror, scorpion dragon. Who thought of that? That's nutty. Okay, so we have some random haphazard piles here. Doesn't matter. We are having a blast with this Western set. And getting into the next pack here. Let's see. Oh, this thing, uh, the Cat Tarantula. That's weird. Okay, Vampire Rogue Token. And we have a Lonely Arroyo. Along with a Foil Viral Smasher, Gleeful Grenadier, a Goblin Mercenary, and Force of Vigor, another Mythic. Along with Hellspur Posse Boss, a Lizard Rogue. So we're at uh, five Mythics already. We're not even a third of the way through the box. So is this going to be sort of like uh, the Brothers War? If you remember, you would get tons of Mythics. Probably upwards of like 10 or 12 in a single box. That's sort of what I'm suspecting. We've got Void Slime here for the art card. I like the uh, comic book style art. That's fun. And a very nice full art Forest Foil Nozomi Link Breaker. And Murder along with Grand Abolisher, another Mythic. We're just pulling Mythics left and right. Bonnie Powell, Clear Cutter. So I do like these new play boosters. They give you the spicy goodness of the set boosters, but you can actually draft with them as well. They honestly had to do something, but yeah, they did create the problem initially. So they're like, oh, we have a solution. Holy cow. Let's combine the packs into a single play booster. I mean, there wasn't much other option. We got Jagged Barons and Iron Fist Pulverizer. So two foils there, Savage Smash and Inspiring Vantage. All right, so the land cycle was pretty cool in this set as well. Good to see. All right, so we've got the Luxurious Locomotive. That one architecturally looks suspiciously similar if you remember the ones, oh, Prickly Pear, the ones they had in Streets of New Capanna. Looks pretty similar. We've got a Bristling Backwards Foil Lively Dirge and Essence Capture for the breaking news, along with Tiny Bones joins up. Little Tiny Bones is back. The lovable rogue he is. He is a rogue, right? Can't remember to be honest. Okay. Oh, I spoiled the rare right away. We got Roxanne Starfall Savant. Okay. So maybe this one has a ton of rares and or mythics. Alright. So we've got a forest here and Bonnie Pow Clear Cutter. It's actually a foil along with Detention Sphere and a mythic. Gold Vein Hydra. This is nuts. Wizards, what have you done? You maniacs. There's <laughs> so many mythics. So yeah, I'm thinking there's going to be a ton of bolt mythics in this set. If you just keep pulling them out of practically every pack. Okay, so... Ooh, zombie rogue. That's cool. 
And then our foil here, we've got a Hard Bristle Bandit Plant Rogue, along with Heartless Pillage and Dust Animus and Visage Bandit. All right. So what do people think of these storylines? So this is really the culmination of the Omen Path story. I think it started really, if you go back to... Um, Kaldheim. You've got the tree that allowed people to travel to the different planes. We've got Annie Flash, the veteran for the art card. I think this one might be a playmat as well. And we've got a Forlorn Flats, Foil Prosperity Tycoon, Decisive Denial, Wily Duke, Arlen, or not Arlen, Atene, Hero, that's hard to pronounce. And Stubborn Burrow Fiend. We've got a Badger, yes. I know some of you out there are very happy about Badgers in this set. We need some more Capybaras though. So I hope Wizards haven't forgotten about that from Lost Caverns. Just a humble request. I don't think Wizards watches this channel anyhow, but... Uh, there we go. All right. What else we got here? A Lush Oasis. Foil Throw from the Saddle. And Murder along with Vraska joins up. And we've got an Intrepid Stable Master. That's fun. Okay. So lots of fun artwork. Lots of new mechanics. So Crimes are a new mechanic in this set if you're targeting your opponent. Or things they control. I've done it again. It's a mythic. Double down. And yeah, outlaw spells, assassins, mercenaries, pirates, rogues, and warlocks are outlaws, apparently. And let's see. So we did get a mythic there. What does that mean? We're going to get a ridiculous number in this one. Lazav, familiar stranger for the art card. Very cool. Looks like there's a whole bunch of wanted posters on the board behind him. We've got the backwards foil jailbreak scheme. And fell the mighty along with another mythic harvester of misery. This is a little nutty. We're going to have to tally up all the mythics at the end. Has anyone else seen this? So many mythics. I wonder if it's due to the uh, the extra print sheet. You know how they they were going to do like an aftermath style set after this, but the reception to the one they did with March of the Machine was so terrible. They're like, okay, let's roll those print sheets into these regular packs. We've got an overzealous muscle. Oh, another mythic crime and punishment. What on earth is going on here, Wizards? Concealed Courtyard. And, yep, okay. Yeah, so, flooding with Mythics. This is truly Mythic Madness. I'm going to get sick of saying it, aren't I? I'm just going to be like, Mythic, Mythic, there we go. There's another one, no G. How exciting, Spirit again. And we have a Foil Eroded Canyon... Rattleback Apothecary, Gorgon Warlock, Dust Bowl, and Archmage's Newt. Check out this guy, Salamander Mount. Yeah, the saddle mechanic, that's fun. Um, although probably not so fun if you're saddling up a porcupine. But anyhow, let's move on here. And a Rambling Possum. What the heck? Yeah, if you're um, not in North America, you might think that looks more like a giant rat. But literally, we've had uh, possums roaming through our yard. They look like giant white rats. It's really weird. Uh, we've got a braided bluff, spoil outlaws, fury, and unlicensed hearse, along with Kambal, profiteering mare. So we got characters from all sorts of different sets and planes. Everybody is converging on Thunder Junction. I wonder why. 
So wizards can make a uh, really uh, overloaded set, shall we say. Like a lot, a whole lot of different things in here. We've got skull crack. I think that's their new direction. They want to have at least one kitchen sink style set per year. We'll see how that works out. We've got a planes foil ambush gigapede in focus, please. And a Thornado along with High Noon. Yeah, this is making me want to watch some Westerns. Uh, I went through a phase watching the uh, Clint Eastwood uh, Westerns. Some really classic stuff there. And uh, yeah, what are they? They called a lot of that stuff the Spaghetti Westerns because a lot of them were filmed in Italy at the time, but I think they did a pretty damn good job with those. We've got a Mercenary Forest and a Foil Scale Storm Summoner along with Archmage's Charm and Annie joins up. Okay, what was the... I think the director was at Sergio Leone made a ton of those. Leave a note in the comments. Do you have any favorite westerns? I'm curious if there's any I haven't seen. Uh, we've got a colossal rattle worm here, and I messed up the card trick yet again. Okay, so then we have an island foil fake your own death. I think that's from Streets New Capenna Essence Catcher. And another Mythic. Why not for Mori Vault? Yep. So we actually have 36 packs here. So what is our... Are we going to average like a Mythic every other pack? Or something nutty like that? Now I'm curious. I want to tally them up. We'll do that at the end though. Here we have a Foil Planes. Along with a Foil Requisition Raid, Hindering Light, and Eriot the Beguiler. Along with Pitiless Carnage. Okay, so two rares in that one. That's the cool thing about the play boosters. You can get multiple rares or mythics in the pack. I think up to like three or four. Does anyone know what the max is? And it's interesting how we have not come across... The Roadrunner or... Oh, there's the Holy Cow. We haven't come across the Roadrunner or Coyote again. So are those, like, short printed or something? We have Oko the Ringleader. And that would be an awesome pull. We have not found Oko as of yet. Soured Springs Clear Shot. Okay, Foil Breaking News. Fling. And Magda the Horde Master. So... This is the one that was the buyer box promo, but it's just the regular artwork. Okay, where are you, Oko, paging Oko, or uh, Tiny Bones, or any of the other gang? I think they have, like, rares for those. We've got Path to Exile. So, awesome. And what else? An island. Is that... No, not a foil, but there is a foil behind it. We have Rise of the Varmints and Collective Defiance, along with Rakdos joins up, and a Treasure Dredger. And we had a full-on avalanche over here. Let's take care of that. Yep, we'll set these a little bit out of the way. Okay, so we've got a tremendous mess here, but... I really am only interested in checking out those mythics at the end. So we'll we'll clean everything up later. Lone shark, there is again. Uh, a sheep token. Nobody told me there were sheep tokens. That is awesome. Uh, wizards, you've outdone yourselves. This set is brilliant. We got a mountain and foil Ariat. Okay. Fling and another mythic, another mythic, Tarnation Vista and Free Strider Lookout, Shifting Grift. Okay, so overflowing with mythics. What have you done, wizards, you maniacs? If the word mythic has lost all meaning with this set. 
Okay, next we have failed fording along with hypothesis, dualist of the mind, and bovine intervention. Yes, they've got lots of cow jokes in here as well. That's a fun sheep as well. What uh, produces the sheep token, by the way? Oh, gnomes as well. I didn't know there were gnomes in this set. What the heck? Allo Alchemist, Plant Warlock. I'll skip over that. There's the Porcupine Mount, the Gnome, Swamp. And what is this? We've got a Foil Omen Port Vigilante, along with Tyrant Scorn, Seraphic Steed, a Unicorn Mount. So if you're looking forward to building a Unicorn deck. Ah, oh, here he is, the Coyote. I was wondering, so we have two coyotes, so we need to find another roadrunner, and that's another creature that roams through our suburban neighborhood here in Midwest US. We've always got these little coyotes slinking around the neighborhood. They're pretty lean and small. They're, they're nowhere near the size of a wolf. They're like more about the size, I would say, of like a small dog or a, or a cat or something. Uh, we've got an island, Foil Oasis, Gardener, and Repulse, and a Prismatic Vista Mythic, Borderless Art, look at that, that is awesome, Special Guest, so yep, yeah, that's what we're looking for, people, Kervik, the Punisher, so yes, you can actually get Special Guest cards out of regular Play Boosters, that is fantastic. So get into our next one here. So shoot the sheriff. Prairie dog. What? I didn't know they have prairie dogs. Has anyone been to Prairie Dog World in uh, South Dakota? Fun little place. All the uh, prairie dogs there. And the giant prairie dog. We've got a loan shark. He will give you a loan at entirely reasonable interest. A Swamp Foil Rakdos Pyromancers. But beware, if you don't pay up the Lone Shark, he will uh, take a bite out of you. Hindering Light. And another Mythic. Why not? Railway Brawler. Holy cow. So many Mythics. Let's get this box out of the way. We're on our final six packs. So I had a lot of fun with this box, to be honest. Very much uh, a different experience to Karlov Manor. That was that was okay, but this is this is definitely a more fun set, I think. Okay, not that I hated Karlov Manor. I thought it was decent, but this is way more fun. We got a foil planes and one last job along with Void Rend and Tai Joaquin. Perfect shot. Uh, one complaint though, boxes of this retail for about 140 to 150, somewhere in there. I think they're a little bit cheaper right now, but they'll probably rebound. Supposedly because they give you extra packs like the set boosters. They're basically priced the same as set boosters, but you get more packs per box for the draft experience, but let me know in the comments what you think about the pricing. Foil Raven of Fell Omens and Decimate. Along with another round. And that's it. Okay. So, what's his name? Bristly Bill. I'd like to find him and Oko. We have not seen either of those. Although, the Bristly Bill... Is he in the Commander decks? Maybe we won't even find him here. I don't think they put the Commander cards in these packs anymore. So this looks pretty cool. And I wish I read what it said. That is Fractured Identity. Okay. And we have a Foil Swamp. Slick Sequence in Foil. Fierce Retribution. And Vadmir. New Blood. Okay, and on to our next one. Three more packs. Oko, mate, where are you? We haven't found him yet. Aren't there like ten different versions of Oko? Or maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. Okay. Ooh, an ox token. That's cool. So we've got oxen, sheep, 
What else? Um, do we have Badger tokens? Not sure. Festering Gulch. Trained Aranx. And back for more along with Great Train Heist. Okay, so I think we've finally seen the last of the Mythics. Uh, what I am hoping for, though, is another Roadrunner. Because those definitely seem to be short printed if we're not seeing any more. Or maybe just because they're on uncommons. Scorpion Dragon. What the heck. Then we've got Jagged Barons along with a Foil Geyser Drake. Skewer the Critics. And of course another Mythic. Vraska the Silencer. And it's Fibble Thip lost on the range. Look at him. He looks awesome. And final pack here. And then I think we'll tally up all the Mythics. And you might have noticed no pricing in this video. Because honestly there is no stable pricing. Things are all over the place. So things will settle down in another couple of weeks. Alright. Oh, a Goblin Pirate. Good to see him. We have Pest Infestation. What the heck? Okay, that's fun. I'd like to find that card. We've got a Mountain and Earth of Joe Frontier Mentor. Ride down. And of course, why not? Memory Vessel with some Mythic. Pillage the Bog. And a Boom Box there to finish. So exactly how many Mythics did we get here? If I can separate all this stuff out. So I've probably lost some in the other piles here. But let's count them up. So how many Mythics did we get in one box? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 Mythics. That is craziness. Let me know in the comments how many Mythics you got out of your Play Booster box. And stay tuned, we'll get stuck into the Command deck shortly. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.